And so it begins. He never wants to leave. Look at her. She's so sad. She's like, Mommy, I'm sick. Don't leave. I got a gassy butt, Mom. She's like, Mommy, I'm sick. Can't About leave. to go. We got like 24 full hours. Bad, right? We got like 24 full hours and two days of traveling ahead of us. Yeah, but all good things. But I'm just like excited to get to New York because then we have my mom and my dad to help us with these bags right now. Us on our own, it's kind of shifty, you know? Two. All right. Please refrain from smoking while walking it. throughout the building. That, that sucked. I just, guys. We just got these at the airport. Pistachios. These are my favorite kind of pistachios, chili roasted. And um, these Parmesan crisps, crisps. And we got a monster. Guess how much it was? $30. $29. And then I got this matcha and a banana. $11. So we're just waiting for the lounge to open up. It's not open yet. And then we're going to actually eat it. So we've now successfully made it through one flight with all, all the luggage. And everything made it, and the dress, the dress. right here. And it honestly weighs at least 20 pounds. The it's dress. so heavy. It's super. Well, there's also other. There's, there's like dress. three dresses in there. To be fair. Two. And, uh, and a veil. And, and a veil. So, but we made it, and <laughs> now we're waiting at JFK, about to go to the last flight to Milan. Eight point eight hours. And guys. that's only eight hour flight, but it doesn't leave for such three a vibe. hours. Three or Hours. New York is such a vibe of flying too. Yeah. It's so short. Yeah, like Blake's parents and Blake's family only have to do one flight for eight hours. Yeah, but flying to like Hawaii for people we in New York. made it to the Emirates Lounge. She made it to the Emirates Lounge. Sleepy. Sleepy. I'm sure there was a couch. I'm sure there was a couch. There's no couch, but we do have that but, thing but that you could lay on. Really I'm little so I can scroll. Now we're gonna get some grub yeah. over there. Just out here in the lounge eating some stuff. Mm. We made it to the final stretch. I was literally just doing the exact same thing on my phone. Oh, it's Cute. I just don't know if we ever showed the bathroom. There's Blake dancing in the bathroom. Showed you the backbreaker? Backbreaker. But here's the bathroom. You have a rain shower, a tub. It's all this nice marble. Tell them how many robes I went through. Blake would literally put a tannered filled robe on the ground. You have a little couch here. This is actually the TV. It's pretty wild. It's behind this double sided mirror. But it looks so classy compared to if it was just a mounted TV, so amazing. Um, this is our stuff. And then out here is like the freaking cutest, and they have these like French doors, right? Floor to ceiling. It's unreal. And then out here is like the fucking cutest little balcony. Get little chairs. And then the main road here, that's Bellagio right there. So super cute town. You got boats out here all day. Um, this is a sand beach and a sand beach, and this is a um, 
restaurant there in the middle and then you have the lake pool and then there's three other pools on the property but just unreal just such a pretty thing to wake up to in here and yeah we're just this hotel is 1010 all right so we made it to the pool area the sun came out guys the sun came out and this is where we're gonna have the welcome dinner is at this pool here and it overlooks the lake So it looks like this. Super pretty. We're like, look at that! So cute! Super you, like, cute. Through. Buongiorno guys. We went to sleep last night at 10.30. We woke up from a knock on the door at like 9.15, so that's like Great. the perfect time because we wanted to wake up like 9.30 anyway. We lifted the blinds. It looks like it's going to be a really pretty day today. So we just um, went to the buffet and it's probably top one or two of the face. The other one in San Tropez was really, really, really good too. Yeah. Um, it's really big. It's just really big. Um, I got fruit, yogurt, and granola. They have a chocolate, streaming chocolate a tower. chocolate um, fondue station. And then they have these really good looking um, um, donuts that I'm about to go eat. But today, I think we're gonna go on a boat tour at 12 and we have a meeting with our wedding planner in like 20 minutes at 10 and hopefully all good things we're just so excited to be here though off the phone with our wedding planner and we just ironed out a few things um i mean since the weather is kind of um it's just up in the air up in the air right now we made a plan b and it'll be okay if we have to do that um, actually we made a plan b and then we made a plan c and then we nixed plan b We're mode pushing so now c, c is now b <laughs> If we end up renting the marquee, it's going to be the same cost as the total cost for the venue yep. again. So it's kind of expensive. And they said that it. They, and they said when we toured it last year that it would be included because it's our. They like built their own, and basically, like, they said that it's always going to, always going to be on their property. Little backstory: when we viewed it, they used to rent it from like a third party, and then that third party would get all the money. So they were like, we should just build one ourselves so that we get the money. And when we toured it, they were like we were going to build it during covid but then covid happened and then they're like so we're actually going to build it this year it's already going to be on the property if you guys need to use it which like i'm super happy about that they have that option because yeah. the only other option is a tent the only other option is a tent which costs just as much yep or the third option which we can't even well which we can do but we don't want to is Either to have time. everybody's uh eating inside but that option nobody's allowed to sit so everybody would have to stand and that for the entire three hour dinner. Yeah. So that's wild. So we wouldn't, and you just stood for an hour at the right appetite. Yeah. So I, I don't think that's a good option. And then There's the, older people, they can't stand the whole time. Yeah, and then the third option is in this marquee, which yes, is an extra cost, but you just have to do it. It is just what it is. Yeah, like that's, it's the, if it rains, that is the only option and we just have to eat the cost, which is not ideal, but Marta, our wedding planner is super sweet. And she said that she's gonna try to like go back to Villa Babliano and be like this really isn't fair 
um, because when we did sign the contract, it said somewhere in there, like, if it rains, then we can have the dinner inside, but it didn't say that we would have to be standing. Like, that's just ridiculous. Like, no one wants to stand for a four-course dinner, you know? Like, yeah, that's and, when just... it shows, and when it shows the dinner, it shows, it, when it shows you the dinner room that we would be in, the it dining room, it, it's seated. Yeah, it's seated. And so she's going to go back and be like, that's not fair, and hopefully we can get the marquee down a little bit. Like, even if they came down, like, $10,000, like, even it's five, still $10,000. $5,000 $5, is $5,000. It's yeah. a car. Yeah. It's about day, y'all. Huh? I mean, I have these things, so. Yeah. We made it. Blake, where are we? Bellagio, people. We made it to Bellagio. And it is super cute. There's all these little restaurants. Those are cute. My mom can shop in literally any store ever, and guess what? We made it two feet, and she's zooming on her. We made it I two feet. I see a bag right there. And. Oh, I see a bag. Yeah, there it is. Vanilla. 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 You said vanilla. Like you said vanilla. So, we prepare the ice cream with our molecular cooking technique that's using liquid nitrogen. As you can see, the temperature is very cold, like our shower below the speed. 196 degrees below the sea. Perfect. And then, uh, what's the rest of this? <laughs> and the last ferry was at 11.40. We came back to our hotel, but there was no ferry that took them back to their hotel. So, we Mila called. Mila called. Taxi. Mila called the taxi at our hotel to take them back and they're like, well, sounds good. Let us know when you're here. They're like, cool. So we came back and then we went and they were like, 
mm, who are you? And we were like, wait, we're the girls they call for the taxes. And they were like, mm, we don't have one. And then that's it. Now it's 1221. It's 12, 23 in the morning. And yeah, and oh, and the, t- and the taxi to go 2.3 miles is 100 euros for a 55 minute walk. Or a 55 minute walk. All right, walk. girls. All right, yeah. Can someone try that? Can no. someone just please try that? Good morning, my little angels. Can you tell that we're in a better mood right now? Because the sun is out. You guys, you guys can't see me, but the sun is out. I mean, we're still four days away from our wedding, so, but you know what? The sun is out and that makes me happy because I feel like I'm a little bit of an empath. And if like, it's why I can't, you know what? It's why I can't choose where to go to dinner because if, the dinner is bad then i feel like it's my fault that the dinner is bad and so i'm just like i can't have that pressure on me because that i'm gonna feel bad that people spent money on like a bad dinner you know but same thing goes with like a vacation like if i pick a vacation spot and it's like raining or the weather like although it's out of my control i feel bad but now like all like our friends are coming in today and i'm so excited because it is so sunny out and it's gonna be a beautiful day And, <laughs> and it's supposed to be real like it's supposed to be really sunny on on friday um and we're like should we just like ask if we can move the wedding today tomorrow and friday is supposed to be really sunny oh sit on your lap and then there's i don't know i just think it's gonna be like this the rest of the time we're just manifesting it's gonna rain every night and every day is gonna be beautiful yeah. i think it rained last night but yeah. today it's like super pretty look at how look at all the boats guys Gonna... This is how it was when we came last year. John's about to go pick up the scooter, the scuderia. Um, uh, I asked him like over on my TikTok what he thinks my dress looks like. So I'm going to ask him now too. Because I know some people don't have TikTok, but John, what do you think my dress looks like? And we're going to see if he really knows me. Like this. A sweetheart neckline. Not this. Okay. And gonna be tighter and then loose and then it's gonna have some sparkly stuff on it okay and then you're gonna have a long veil that's got some designs in it okay am i having sleeves sleeves mm -hmm. like you know how samira had sleeves no oh. i think it has sleeves okay no sleeves all right um do you think it's like pure white or do you think it's more like like a nude color like a nude white. white. Okay. All right. Maybe maybe like an off white. An off white. Okay. Not like a not like a stark white. Okay. And that's it. All right. All right. So John just left to go like say hi to his mom. Um, I was gonna go with him, but. Um, guys I'm literally about to cry the weather here is really pretty right now and it's supposed to rain on the entire welcome party and the entire day on the wedding and it just makes me so sad because <laughs> like i feel bad that like all these people came and it's gonna be like raining when they're here not that i feel bad because like <laughs> i just spent so much money planning this and making this wedding like be perfect and like going way over budget because it's like oh no it's gonna be iconic like it's gonna be worth it and not like obviously it's still gonna be fine and i feel so stupid literally i feel so dumb like crying over this but i'm just like so sad and obviously john is gonna edit this and see this and like i haven't let him like know that i'm like i'm so stressed out about it and I'm just like really sad. And he's like, 
I mean, obviously he knows like, oh yeah, it's gonna rain, it's gonna, it might rain, it might rain. Like that's just been like, kind of like how I've just like been joking about it and talking to him about it. And I've just been like, oh yeah, like it might rain. Like, no, it's not. Like, it's gonna be lucky. Like, we're gonna be lucky. It's fine. Like, we're gonna manifest good weather. <laughs> but really inside, I'm just like, I'm just really sad. Of course, it's literally the most stunning day ever today. I know I'm gonna like look back at this and feel so fucking stupid. But I have to remember my feelings are valid. Cousin number one. Cousin number one. What's up, man? Fit. Look, look at this. Oh. Like, it's, it's a regular season, like, oh, everything will be open. Uh -huh. But they got there and they were like, oh, no, this is first oh. season. Oh my god, wonderful. Yeah, so you guys are like, last roll down by the pool. Sick. Yeah, we're just. We're just. You guys making... want a glass of wine or anything? Um, or? I don't want one. Okay. We're just making our rounds right now to everyone, you know? Alright. Give me two seconds. Yeah, no, uh, you guys are going, you guys... Hello. Oh yeah. A double congrats. What's up, party people? Look at this couple. Literal immediate party yeah. foul. Hi, what's going on? Oh, what's up? What's up, man? How are you? to take this necklace off um so we just went and basically said hi to pretty much everyone i would say like 90 percent of people we've only haven't seen maybe like 15 10 max. yeah 10 people max which is really good because um you guys know my social battery gets strained pretty easily so i'm glad that we saw a lot of people today um i am feeling very run down right now uh but now tomorrow is going to be a lot easier at the welcome party because um i've already like said hi to everyone and then it'll just be it's not so much like catching up it's more so like just like normal conversation which is really nice um the weather today was absolutely beautiful and then around 6 p.m it got um a little bit overcast i don't know if you can see that yeah, but if you, yeah. what it's nice out though now it's not that that one big cloud kind of pass and it's a little pretty oh okay um yeah. it has not rained at all did it say it was gonna rain today yeah okay so did it, it? Rain at four mm -hmm. okay it said that it was three, gonna rain at three four millimeters 3.5 millimeters at four where we were in in Tremezzo, it said it was gonna rain okay um but it did not rain um it's a little it's definitely windy and it looks like it's gonna rain, but it has not rained. And see, that's a good sign. 3.5. And that's why I was like, okay, I wanna see what 3.5 millimeters is. So that's yeah. about an inch of rain. Is it? 2.5, oh no, 3.5 mil, 3.2.5 centimeters is an inch. Right, millimeter. Oh, fuck off, like that's, okay, like a dusting? Like, then don't even, why do they say that? Yeah, I don't know, babe. Um, we are still 
holding off on the marquee as of right now. We told them that we'll give them an answer uh, tomorrow morning. <laughs> Luckily, our wedding planner, I I feel bad because well, I, my wedding against, our wedding against our tomorrow. wedding planner is like such a sweet little angel and i was like listen you have to lie to them you have to either tell them that like we don't have the money right now we're getting it wired it's going to take a little bit like you have to get us like you have to give us a little bit more time we're not doing um it until the and then she <laughs> she lied to the marquee people and was like they're traveling right now they don't have service like they're going to land tomorrow morning and then we can and then you can like have the decision and they were like okay sounds good so but we meanwhile while they were trying to press us saying that we had to decide by last night. No, literally. They were like, you need to decide. And I'm just like, they're not going to say no to money. Like, let's just hold off as long as we possibly can. Um, and we also gave them, like, different options. We were like, oh, what if we just put, like, a little down payment for you guys and, like, blah, blah, blah. And they were like, no, we want the whole thing. So. And non-refundable whole thing. Non-refundable, even if we don't use it. Uh-huh. Um, so... Yeah, so basically we are we are just pushing on through. Um, a lot of my aunt even asked uh, their cab driver, like she was like, "Oh, like we have a wedding on um, Thursday. Like, what do you think's gonna happen?" And he was like, "Oh, it's actually looking really good for Thursday now." So, you know, lucky girl syndrome, fingers crossed, and that's uh that's about it. So I'm trying to upload an Instagram right now, and my shit just keeps saying downloaded. We saw our friends as well, which was really nice. The only oh, actually, you know who we haven't seen? Clayton and Delaney. We I Facetimed them earlier, but um, yeah, they're on the other side of the lake. Good morning. It's the morning of the welcome party. Tomorrow's coronation day. Um. Should we do that? Come on, let me just do this. Not gonna lie, guys. I had anxiety yesterday because like last night when I was going to sleep because like I just feel like everything like I was not nervous at all wait babe, come here I want to put on some projects on you I was not no I have and the tanner on oh. John has tanner you can throw it away um John has tanner on but anyway all my nerves started to hit me like right as I was about to go to sleep and I like it was one o'clock in the morning I thought that I was going to go to bed at like 10 and then all of my like all of my nerves started hitting me and I realized that I hadn't self-tanned yet. I hadn't like washed my hair. I hadn't taken a shower and I wanted to, like we were also moving up our welcome party um, because it's supposed to rain today. I haven't gotten a pedicure. Like all of these things, I was like, what the fuck have I been doing? Um, and worrying. so- We've been worrying. So it, like, takes, yeah. it takes the place of everything. Yeah, oh, and then last night they sent us over, um, our wedding planner sent us over, um, the like basically the program for the dinner and we're gonna have be having like a few like little performances. Oh my god. Every single thing except for two things, 18 things on the sh on the sheet was wrong. But was there were such random things. I don't think we could have even listed the things they like, chose. Like Tina Turner was on there and it was like And I think they picked and, like and songs, songs I like Wait, hold on. I like Charlie Puth. You know I do. <laughs> and I blast Charlie Puth in our house. And I, I sing Charlie Puth. I'm a Charlie Puth super fan. There was a song on there that I didn't know. And it's not like this is going to be like background music or like just like music that people are going to be like dancing to while they're eating dinner and stuff. Yeah. So, which I kind of thought it was. So kind of how the night works is we eat something, there's a speech, and then like a literal performance. So they're performing and everybody's watching. And then we go back to eating a speech and then a performance. And then later in the night is when it's just background and you're dancing. Mm -hmm. And then even later in the night is just DJ. So there so was about these are like, 10 performances. These are like musical acts. Yeah. And there is two songs and there is two. two, two like 10. Yeah, like and 10. And one of them was, was fine. Hey. But all good things, I'm so excited. Oh, and we're not doing marquee. We just put in the final. Wait, did you actually? No. Oh, no, I didn't. I thought you did. Um, she just texted us and said, I'm afraid to ask this question, but what are we doing about the marquee? And then she said, let's risk it. We just checked all four of the weather apps. It does say that it's going to rain for, it does, just, it does say light rain for a few hours in the morning. Um, but I think we're just going to risk it for the biscuit. And if all, which it won't because lucky girl syndrome, but yeah. Yolo. Oh, hi. Up, wait, we didn't even know that you were in here. I didn't know. Hi. I didn't know. Oh, wait, you knew? 
Yeah. Mm, so hi. Guys, this Robin. Where's this Robin? Where are you? What's going on? Hi. Hi. How is it your boat? How are you? Good, how are you? Yeah. 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 What? They were like, because it was yeah, full. Almost in like we had like five bags, and they're like, no, no, no. They're like, you can't get on. Like, you can't get on until 4.30. And we were just like, no. uh, what do we do? And then they just like talked in Italian, and they're like, okay. And the guy, the guy like, that runs that you that like, ferry station is yeah. like he's kind of the straight faced and he worked there last year because yeah. he took it to get down mm-hmm. there. So and he was just like, mm-hmm. he's, like he's kind of grunting. He's like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, oh my god. Like, what are we going to do? He speaks like no English either. So no. Like, oh, and we just like dragged our backs like, like, like stairs, cobblestones, everything. We yep. had like five of them were sweating. We're yeah. Like, the ferry's like completely full. All the people on it are just like staring at us. Have, nobody else had luggage with us. Nobody had luggage. They were all just taking like day trips. We were just like five guys. No. Like, no. Oh my god. Wait, so uh, is your room ready yet? No. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We're doing my hair. It was a little bit of trouble getting these uh, tools to work in Europe, even though Jill specifically bought them for Europe. Specifically buys a $300 mm-hmm. straightener with dual voltage, mm-hmm. smart straightening, mm-hmm. and T3 to really fuck us over. You know, it's, you know, John John did some magic and it's working, but we were going to do a low messy braid, like a French braid, but I'm wearing like this like neck piece thing, so... Um, we just We're felt gonna, like we needed yeah. something off the neck, mm-hmm. so like it didn't, it didn't just like the braid and the neck piece yeah. like all blur together and mm-hmm. just kind of like, like it was too like much. It would be more slimming on your neck. Yeah, we need a slim neck always. Always. Mm-hmm. We gotta show the neck lift. We gotta show the neck lift off for sure. Yeah. So basically, right now I prepped the hair with a bunch of texturizing spray. She washed it today. I really wanted her hair dirty tomorrow for the wedding, so this is like a really nice prep also for us tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Um, so right now I'm just going in and doing flat iron waves. I got inspo from, if you can, you can find her on Instagram, it's like Cara Shell. she's a celebrity hairstylist and she does these on all of her clients. It's so pretty. I think it'll look really pretty in a ponytail versus like having curls. Cause I feel like sometimes in a curl, like in a ponytail, it just like falls and then your ends are just curled and you want it. Like I wanted more weight right here mm-hmm. and like more wispy down at the ends versus vice versa but we did curl around her face and then when it's in the pony we'll like adjust and perfect like the pieces that are on the top yeah never worn these shoes guys so i'm gonna be taking my shoes off Yeah.
Pasta Queen. <laughs> Yeah, perfect. Hi guys. Hi guys. We made it. We made it to the after party. This is the after party. Mm -hmm. People were actually going out and we were like, absolutely not, cannot be further from what we wanted. Couldn't be, couldn't couldn't be us. But we had so much fun. It did in fact rain. It's kind of like pouring right now, yeah. which we are it's happy. Been, it didn't rain until what, you think like nine? No, it started drizzling at oh, right um, 7.30, right when we went inside. It was absolutely perfect. Like we were taking our last photos and it started drizzling and we were like, perfect. And then it started like really, like, I mean. It's pouring. It's now. pouring, but it's like, yeah, exactly, exactly. So um, we, I, we had a really good time. I was trying to give them a two second speed. No, you didn't. Yeah. Oh, I, was I didn't cry. On, I was probably putting on Blake's sleeve today. Yeah. So I don't know how I'm gonna do tomorrow. And Bro. then um, it rains. It's raining today, which is great, and it's not supposed to rain tomorrow, which is amazing. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna be a really pretty day. Not too hot, not too cold. Yeah. And we are. We, we had a really good time tonight. The food was apparently amazing. Everyone was like, "Oh my gosh!" I'm kind of, oh. I'm kind of tipsy, so I don't know if I can tell you that the food was amazing. But I everybody was like, every single person was like. This is the best pasta I've ever had in my entire life. Like, that. It's the best pizza. So Amer apparently it was good. Uh, now it was catered by our hotel, which is an amazing five-star beautiful hotel. So mm -hmm. I guarantee it was good. But mm -hmm. like people were literally like out of their seats. So I'm ecstatic about that. Yeah. So you never want to have bad food. Yeah. Yeah. And we got amazing pictures. Clayton like held it down. He held it down. For a full hour before taking pictures as well. Yeah. With the photographers. Blake's mom immediately cried when she <laughs> She was just coming in to like ask me if I needed any jewelry or something and she saw me and she was uh, immediately starts crying. My dad did it though. When he I But your mom said your dad was crying when he like yeah. had a speech. Yeah, he um but no he he wasn't crying at all, so no, we're gonna have to didn't. make him cry tomorrow. And everything else was awesome. Yeah. It was it was such a fun night. Mm -hmm. It went by so fast. It did. Honestly, like God, fast. And yeah. so I'm like, God, how do but we I'm save so glad tomorrow? that we, yeah, I'm so glad that we did the welcome party because um, so we like got, like there were so many, yeah, so many conversations. Mm -hmm. And you get all the small talk out of the way, how right. you trip all this stuff, and tomorrow right. everybody can then just, it just enjoy it. Yeah, just like the real conversations. And yeah, and it's, it's going to be good. like feed everybody and. Everybody got wine and everybody was having a really good time. There's no drama at all, which is great. People were taking TikToks, people were watching people and like, like, oh, this is what Blake does. This is so cool. I didn't even friends. know. So my friends were like, oh, this is so cool. Like, that's what they do. And like, oh, this is them doing it. And it's like, it's a whole different world. Cause yeah. like, it's just a different world. It's like world all people. worlds are coming together. Yeah. And it's so interesting because like, Allison said this the other day, but she was saying how like a wedding is literally the only time where all of your friends and family are in one place. Like, yeah, like, you know, and we're just like, we're so lucky to have everybody. The photographers are actually really good. I feel like they, I mean, we don't know because we see their content, but mm -hmm. I think it was good. They were sweet. We had cute, like they were super nice. They didn't care that Clayton was taking pictures. Mm -hmm. They didn't care how many times you wanted to do something. Mm -hmm. They got their shots and also let us do them. And if we saw some light that was good, they let us do it. Mm -hmm. We did the ele we did elevator stuff. We did a bunch of different areas. Yeah. The hallway, we did elevator, we did outside, we did patio, we did view of the lake. I think we really liked Do we have some... any clips to insert? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did? Yeah. Video clips? took videos, yeah. Clay did? Yeah. Oh, okay. 
So video so we'll clips see, we'll see that. somewhere over here are covering our face and we're just really excited for tomorrow. Yeah, really excited. And we'll do another vlog tomorrow after the wedding. Somebody had mentioned doing this because they said it was really cute to like just reflect on like yeah. the night. Yeah. And I think it's a great Who idea. said that? I think it was on a I think it was on a TikTok, oh. like wedding things that I was like glad I did and they were like have a minute to like recap the night, film yeah. it and then watch it back, like with your kids or yeah. something like that. I wish I hung out with you a little bit more though. Yeah, but I wanted I specifically I think I specifically was like, alright, I'm gonna go say talk to my family, do all that stuff, because tomorrow I'm not gonna leave your side. It's gonna be like a lot more mm -hmm. together. So mm -hmm. um, well, it's also a sit down dinner, and obviously we're sitting next to each other. Yeah, like yeah. this wasn't well. There were tables and stuff, but like this was more of like a just like a cocktail party. Um, so we, you know, we were both making our rounds. But tomorrow we're gonna have a sit down dinner where we're sitting next to each other for most of the night. So right. we're at least gonna be able to talk to each other again. Hey guys. We just realized that there's so many bugs in our room. I think we like left the door open or something. I know. People are probably just think we're having sex. <laughs> <laughs>